Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So on request by Mr. Vega, I've decided to do an updated settings video on my Anest Iwata Supernova. So what you saw me pointing to at the very start of the video there, that top knob there, that is the fan adjustment knob. And that's the main setting that I've actually changed. So I wind that one right in and then come out one and three quarter turns. I mean, it's one of those things that I'm sure you can play around with a little bit and find that sweet spot, but for me, it's one and three quarter turns out. Now, I actually got these settings after making my initial videos. So, I did a video on this. It was a review and demonstration and unboxing on probably, no, not probably, definitely the best spray gun I've ever owned and probably ever seen as well. Um, this thing is an absolute, oh, it's just gorgeous to look at. And I love spraying clear with it now more so than ever. Before I thought it was competent, but now I think it's amazing. Um, <clears throat> it's it's really fast once you do wind that uh, fan in a little bit more. So in my initial video from memory, I had it um, three turns out. So I'd go right in with the fan and then come three turns out. But it was still a bit slow. Uh, I did like a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison compared to the Pro Lite, and it was a touch on the slow side. But yeah, winding that fan in um, and then coming out one and three quarter turns does speed it up immensely. Initially, I thought I was using a, a little bit more clear than the Pro Lite, and maybe I was, although it wasn't a massive amount. Um, but I think I've got it just about on par with the Pro Lite at the moment. And, and if not, it's like, over an entire job like this, you might be talking 100 mils of clear or something like that. So not an absolute deal breaker to say, I'm not going to use the gun. Um, and yeah, it, it's just a breeze to spray with. And I've just actually been enjoying spraying with a different gun that isn't my Pro Light. So enjoying a gun just as much, if not more, than the Pro Light, just for the sake of changing it up and having something different. Uh, and as far as the uh, fluid goes, so that's right out. So um, yeah, there's no restriction on that fluid. Again, it's something that you could play with and pressure is right up at two bar or 29 PSI. Maybe just a, a touch under 29 PSI. Um, I did try lowering the pressure because as I said, I, I found it, go, it went through a little bit more clear than the Pro Light. I tried dropping the pressure down a bit, but again, that just slowed it down a little bit too much. But depending on the material you're using, you might find that you can drop the pressure down a little bit and it's going to work well. Because at the moment, I'm using the Quartz Liquid Glass Clear, which is a VHS or Very High Solid Clear. Uh, and I've been using it at 5% reducer, which is what you see me spraying here, and that's 5% reducer. So it's still a bit of a thicker clear than um, yeah some of the other ones on the market. It'll be thicker than any of your MS clears, and even the clear that I was using previously, which was the Standock Standard Clear. I actually went back to spraying with the Standock Standard Clear um, not long ago. Yeah, it was last week. And I found that I did actually have to drop the pressure down because it was a little bit thinner. I guess being the thicker material, you need to have a, a bit of a higher pressure to draw it out of the gun at, at a faster rate. Um, but yeah, as far as... I think, that, yeah, that, that's all the settings I, I can think of. That's That's got all the bases covered. Um, now, when I say you've got full fluid, what you do basically is... You wind the fluid right out, and then you come, and then you start. You pull the trigger when there's obviously nothing in the gun. Um, you pull the trigger uh, before you go into the booth, and then you start winding that fluid in. And as, and when you start to feel it pushing the trigger forward, that's when you can actually stop winding it in. You can come back out maybe like another half a turn, so you don't have to have that fluid uh, knob so it's about to fall out on you. No one really wants to do that. I've actually had it happen before. Um, I had it happen on one of my A and I R150 minis um, twice actually, <laughs> but luckily once I found it, and the second time uh, another guy from work ended up having a little uh, yeah little cap that I could use instead. Um, but yeah, you, you don't want to have your your knobs about to fall out. So that's not good. Um, but yeah, here's onto the second coat of clear. This gun is an absolute beast. Loving using it. As you can see there, I've got the PPS2. 
been enjoying using the PPS tool as well. I can't have, uh, I haven't got anything bad to say about them. Put it that way. Um, look, I think for the rest of the video, I'll just put some music on in the background and a bit of booth sound because I think I have said all I wanted to say in this video. Shout out to Mr. Vega. He was thinking of getting one of these supernovas, um, and I say get it. I'm actually going to be working soon on another top 10 spray guns uh, review or video and this thing's going to be right up there. I, th I think these days, um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to like drop too many points for price anymore because at the end of the day, like once you own the gun, you own it and you know when you've got a gun like this, there's no reason this thing can't last you for 20 plus years, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, with all that said, I'll see you in the next one, and thanks for watching. Get out there and paint some shit. Coming out. Yeah, I bought my job to come up a lot cleaner with the um, TPS, and also with the court, which is glass. I think it's just got that little bit more fill. It's just a clear than the um, stuff I was using previously, so it's sort of burying more, so to speak. Back with a superior gloss level too, with the liquid glass. So I mixed up 900 mils for this, and it's looking like it's going to be perfect. So you know, even, even with this gun, it's not like it's a massively excessive amount of clear that it's using, but probably would have got over this job with 800 with my Pro Light C20. You know, I actually like the paint as a nail kick out. Three or four hundred mil of clear than the, the painting on channel. I'm not even exaggerating. So, you know, an extra hundred mil for someone who's conscious on their clear usage. Probably not really the biggest deal. So yeah, first it's mixed up. Couple of mixes in the box, nothing major. I'm pretty happy with that shit. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that shit. Gun rated down killer. Best looking gun in the game, mate. Hands down. Loving the PPS box, loving the liquid blood. Everything's good these days. Works good. Quality finishes are good. Gotta love that. Stand up the bait coat. Solid. Oh good! This boot is actually getting a clean out on Monday. Gonna change the filters down the back and wash the walls down. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that job. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Coming out.